Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke was in Utah today, 20 months after, and the President Trump came here to announce that he was reducing the size of two of our national monuments here in Utah. Chris Jones on this story for us tonight. And Chris, he arrives in Utah just days after the release of some stunning emails by the Department of Interior. Yeah, it was just a couple of days ago that the Department of Interior accidentally released some embarrassing documents. Now, Zinke was here at the Days of 47 Rodeo, and although his handlers and advisors did everything they could to keep us, the media, away from him, we managed to get a couple of questions in. Secretary Zinke, Secretary Zinke, can we talk to you about the email drop over the weekend? Surrounded by handlers, about the email drop over the weekend? Department of Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke avoids answering questions about an embarrassing release of information over the weekend. So we're saying that that was an effort to minimize the value of the uh, Monuments, can you comment on that? Secretary Great Rodeo, I thought. It was a cache of emails that showed the Department of Interior intentionally eliminated positive information about national monuments from a study. That study was used to justify reducing Grand Staircase Escalante and Bears Ears. Last year, I Zinke was at the Days of 47 Rodeo tonight. It's um, interesting, but not surprising. And so was Shireen Gorbani, a candidate for Congress who has been a critic of the Trump administration's reduction of those national monuments. And the evidence that the monuments have been good for local economies was really not taken into consideration in the same way that other interests were prioritized. It's not a new thing. Alistair Bitsoy, a Native American activist, says the apparent burying of information does not surprise him. It's harmful to us as Native Americans, but we're not surprised at all by those actions. Tonight, Secretary Zinke took a leisurely walk around the days of 47 Rodeo. Secretary Zinke, Secretary Zinke, can we talk to you about the email problem? And a less leisurely walk away from reporters trying to ask him questions. Now, an interesting postscript to this story, after those documents were accidentally released to the media, the Department of Interior asked all media outlets to delete any files that they had received. As you can imagine, nobody did. Guys, back to you.